Right, well, Steve, we with you here today, and this talk is basically for people who run the big, giant, fat tires on today's truly fat tire bikes and trikes, the uh, 26 by 4.8. They're tires that are like about this big around the cross section. So if you don't run those, you may not be interested in this video. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, what you need to do if you're running these big uh, giant fat tires nowadays, or at least my experience with it. I've written about it on my Trike Asylum website, but I haven't really talked about it too much on a video. I've alluded to it in other videos, but I'm going to talk specifically about it here. Okay, I had, as you know, a, uh, an ice full fat, a big giant orange monster trike. I bought, I was one of the first buyers of that uh, when, it, when it came out. I was eagerly awaiting after seeing Maria uh, Leierstam's uh, historic ride to the South Pole. First person to cycle to the South Pole, I think it was 2013. And she made history <clears throat> and ICE had built her a custom trike with big giant tires on it. It was basically a sprint trike and it had special gearing set up and everything to go over ice flows and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, so I got one of these, these uh, trikes called the Full Fat, and I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Wasn't too practical for a lot of things, but it was a lot of fun. But anyway, ice, uh, what they did, the tires they supply on that were Schwalbe Jumbo Jim tires. Schwalbe Jumbo Jim. And those came on it, and uh, I had also ordered some uh, other tires that were uh, sturdier, but I decided to try the Jumbo Gems first, just to, just to see. I mean, they're already on the trike, you know, I had the other set of tires. And so, uh, anyway, so I took that trike out in the Mojave Desert, and I rode it around. Now, the Mojave Desert, of Southern California, and it goes into Nevada and everywhere too. It's it's a big desert. It's loaded with things called goat heads, thorns. Okay, and so I knew this. So what I did was I got these Mister Tuffy tire liners, and they cost a fortune in the 26 by 4.8 size. I bought these Mister Tuffy tire liners, and I put those tire liners inside my jumbo gyms. I had Schwalbe inner tubes. Standard Schwalbe inner tubes, the, jump, the uh, Mr. Tuffy tire liners, and these uh, Schwalbe jumbo or uh, gym tires. Okay, and I think the tires were called snakeskin or something like that. <laughs> and as it turned out, you know how thin snakeskin is when it gets uh, uh, shed from a snake. Well, that's about <laughs> that's about how much protection these tires gave. <laughs> So anyway, I take this full fat out there, and I rode it for two days around in the, the southern Mojave Desert. And in two days, I got four flat tires. The first flat I got, I thought it was just a fluke, okay? And, but, it, but it wasn't. I got uh, four flats in two days. I only, I didn't have enough tubes to keep, or to, you know, I couldn't keep just putting in new tubes. And basically, so I took these things off. Fortunately, I was down there at my mom's house, and so I could go back to a garage, you know, just roll the trike back. <clears throat> because here's what happened. Those Mr. Tuffy tire liners, you'll see people talking about how great they are. <laughs> well, they sure weren't. These, maybe they're decent in some street applications, but when you're going cross country through the Mojave Desert, through hundreds and thousands of goat heads, those Mr. Tuffy tire liners do not, do not, let me emphasize this, protect you from getting flats. So fortunately, in the comfort of mom's garage, you know, she lives right there in the Mojave Desert, 
and you only have to ride a few blocks and you're out there in the wilds with the cactus and the, and the creosote bushes and all this kind of stuff. So fortunately, in the, I had the ability to work in her garage and it made it not quite so bad, but, uh, and these big tires, they're easy to take the, the uh, it's not like changing the tire with a Schwalbe Marathon Plus, <clears throat> they're easy to dismount and remount. But I took those things off and I had literally hundreds of goat heads in each tire and they had penetrated, hundreds of them, had penetrated also not only the Schwalbe uh, Jumbo Jim snakeskin tires, they had also penetrated the Mr. Tuffy tire liners. So I had hundreds of these thorns sticking through both the tire and Mr. Tuffy into my tube and my tubes. There were so many thorns. <laughs> there, and once these things break off, you know, after you run through them, it's not like really obvious where they are. They're just like little, almost microscopic little white dots. They look like a piece of dirt, little teeny weeny piece of dirt. And so and you can't get these things out. So those uh, Schwalbe Jumbo Gems had hundreds of these things in them, and the the uh, Mr. Schwalbe or the uh, Mr. Tuffy tire liners had hundreds of of the, had gone through the tire liners and the tubes. They were obliterated. Basically, I couldn't salvage any of that stuff. I mean, I had a buddy of mine that said, "Hey, you should have kept the tires. We, we could use those and make them into a tube." But I didn't. I took, I took the Mr. Tuffy tire liners, <laughs> the three Schwalbe Jumbo Jim tires, and uh, the tubes, and I put them all in the trash can because, <laughs> believe me, they were so loaded with these goat heads that uh, they were beyond repair. You couldn't repair the tubes. It's not like you have one nail hole in a tube and you can repair it. And so, I did what I should have done in the first place. Uh, a friend of mine, Matt Jensen, said, you need V tires, V-E-E, -E, V Tire and Rubber Company. And they are, they are superior in thickness and design to the Schwalbe Jumbo Gems. Those Schwalbe Jumbo Gems, I later found out, they're, they're rated for soft snow and soft sand, okay? Or pavement. If you're if you're actually using the tires for off-road work in the desert area or anywhere where there's goat heads and goat heads have, uh, show up, not just in deserts. <laughs> trust me, in forests, then they're worthless. They're worthless for anything beyond snow and sand. And I know this from hard experience. Four flats under the with the uh, results that I just described to you, it's not some fluke, like I just hit some thing just right and it flattened it. No, They're, the tires and the, and the Mr. Tuffy, I do not recommend Mr. Tuffy tire liners unless you're just a road rider and you don't get flats very often. But if, if you're gonna do this off-road stuff with these big giant um, fat tires that they have these days, don't have it set up like I did thinking, well, you know, Steve Green just didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I really took precautions with the tires that were on it. Now, what I did was, what a buddy of mine recommended in the first place, and once I got back home from that trip, yeah, he helped me, and we did this. We took the, the V tire and rubber, I got uh, V8 tires for the front, um, uh, 26, by 4.0 in the front, and I got a 26 by 4.8 in the back, which is called the, the V Bulldozer. And I tell you, these are huh, these tires. They're they're much thicker and much more stout and substantial than those snakeskin Jumbo Jims. <laughs> the Jumbo Jims, you could literally wad them up, and I did. I turned them inside out. I watered them up and I put them in the trash can. <laughs> Worthless. But so anyway. My buddy Matt and I put these uh, tires on the trike and what we did was we went to Tubeless. And I talk about that. I, I don't know that I have a video, but I have some, some uh, photos that 
I'll try to put into this video here. But we, we set my trike up with V tires with in a tubeless thing, so no tube at all. And basically we use what's called the ghetto method. You can look it up on YouTube and see tubeless ghetto. There's a way you can do it and you, uh, uh, because those tires, some tires come that they're set up with a special bead to where you don't have to do a jury rig method, but uh, however you do it, we, we did that, and set them up for tubeless, and then you have to put in, pour in before you inflate the tire or inject um, the this like stands, no flats, stands, S-T-A-N-S, no flat. It's a liquid, and you have to put a certain amount of this kind of a white, uh, really, uh, it's not syrupy or anything, it's, it's really runny, a white, milky looking liquid into the tires. And that, as you the tires are rotating, that coats the inside of the tire. And if you do get a go head come through it, basically what that does is that stuff seals the flat instantly. I mean, on the Stan Snow Flats commercial, they ride the they ride a bicycle through nails. I mean, they put a bunch of nails and boards, and they purposefully ride time after time after time after time after time. I mean, putting hundreds of nails. Uh, punctures in these tires to show how well this uh, stands uh, no flat uh, works and it works it works it keeps your tires inflated so if you have a tire that say they don't make in the Schwalbe Marathon plus size which they, they don't make these tires for those big giant uh, tires then you can go to tubeless the thing I didn't care about tubeless was that you have to mess with this liquid, okay? And once a year you're supposed to replenish your liquid or whatever. I don't know. I just, I, I just like to ride. I don't like to always be wrenching on my trike or bike or whatever. I also had a, a fat tire bicycle uh, after I uh, sold my uh, fat tire uh, tricycle. And I did the same thing in that. I went with the... Uh, with the tubeless stands, uh, no tubes, I think. And so, there, the, the, the bottom line here is that if you do your homework ahead of time, you don't have to get flat tires. You just don't have to do it. If you have an odd tire size that you can't get in Shelby Marathon Plus, then you can go tubeless. So you have three solutions there. If you're getting flat tires, even in the big tires, it's because you basically cheaped out and not done the work necessary to stop it. You don't have to get flats. If you think flats are kind of a cool thing, oh yeah, I don't want to change a flat, and whatever it is, if you're in a circle of people that value your ability to change flats because you ride with them or whatever, hey, fine, but I don't want to change them. And I recommend that you can be in situations along the side of a busy highway or uh, and cold, where you don't have the dexterity, you can't use your hands, and then you can't change a flat anyway. You know, there, there's, or you're so far from home that you just, you want, you want to carry your bike or roll your trike back 20 miles, nah, don't take the chance. You know, unless you go on short rides close to home on, on trails that don't have nails, or roofing nails, pieces of wire. I had a piece of wire go through a, into a Schwalbe Marathon Plus tire on one of my long distance trips, and it didn't make it through. You know, it, it bent and stayed in there. I pulled it out months later, I found it. So there, there's uh, road hazards everywhere. I just recommend do it right from the start. Spend the extra time, spend the extra money, and take a weight hit. Get something a little heavier, okay. They're too heavy. And they don't go as fast. Hey, if you're a racer and you have a professional team behind you, <laughs> okay, fine. But for the most of us, the, the real world, uh, it, it's it's not any big deal if you can't if you, if you can only go 1.5 miles slower or not as fast as you could with this with the super lightweight tires that have no flat protection at all. So what? So what if it's even 
two miles an hour or three miles an hour. So what? That's the way I look at it. We're out there to have fun, not change flat tires. Okay, that's my uh, rant for today. Stay away from Schwalbe Jumbo Gym snake skin tires at all costs. That's what ICE puts on their full fat, or at least what they put on in 2015. I think they still do. Why do they put it on? <clears throat> well, probably because it's cheap and easy. You know, that would be my guess. That's why manufacturers normally do things. This trike didn't come with these uh, bulletproof tires. I put them on this trike because I've learned my lesson for years, since 2009. I've learned lessons. I've talked about it in my talks. And what I'm trying to do is help others uh, not go down the same path that I have as far as um, road hazards out there. All right. See ya.